Hopefully no more pain meds, no more monthly injections of the Yataquan. Um, research shows that lame dogs can have turned around and been able to go upstairs again. If this can I've, get them to I've walk around it. again, yeah. then this is worth it to us because we've spent a fortune on vet bills and Adequan injections and then have to take off work. This is just save us time and make the dog more comfortable and hopefully we can save her life. You're right, you're right. <laughs> Boy, I need to get a blood pie from her neck. Mm -hmm. okay. So we'll probably clip a little there. Once we sedate her, we'll clip her hips and her knees. Today, what we're doing in our hospital is we're uh, removing adult fat cells, processing that to get the stem cells out of there, activating it with platelet-rich plasma and LED stimulation, and then re-injecting that stem cell portion back into the affected joints that we want to help repair and regenerate tissue with. Uh, we'll actually we'll be injecting the stem cells into this joint. So here's the hip joint right there, and there's hip joint, and they're actually partially dislocated, or what they call sublux subluxated. So that's where her lameness and pain comes from. And then you can see a little roughness and irregularity in the knees here as well. And so we're gonna be injecting the stem cells into the each hip and each knee joint. And hopefully for a long-term or more, um, not permanent necessarily, but a long-term benefit. I like the science behind the stem cells themselves. It's a newer procedure, so there's not a lot of uh, data and, and information about it. And so all these cases and processes are, are, are hopefully building that database to help us understand better. But we're seeing good results, and the veterinarians that have done it have had good news about it. So it, it was something I looked at real closely. I wanted to try. The company was willing to work with me and, and have a couple of trial uh, cases and, uh, and I said that's great, that's what I would like to do, see how it goes before I open it up to all my clientele or anybody else in the area to, to be available for, for their dogs.